Uh, this video is going to be for the palpation of triceps brachii. So the first thing that we're going to do is have our person's arm hanging off the table, which is going to kind of give us access to the triceps muscle. Triceps meaning three heads, so we're going to talk about the origins of all three heads and kind of where their placements are and then their insertion. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to do is look for our long head. So triceps has three heads, as I was just mentioning, and the first of them is going to be the long head. The long head is the only one that passes the glenohumeral joint, and its actual origin is on the most superior aspect of the lateral border of the scapula, which is up in here, and that is the infraglenoid tubercle. So I believe I've landmarked it, so what I'm actually going to do is get him to push out into my hand in extension. Great. We can actually quite easily see that. Let's do that one more time and have you hold that position. So right here is that head as it goes up in between Terry's major and minor. I'm going to relax. And then right there, I can feel the lateral border of the scapula, kind of just below the glenoid cavity on that scapula. So our long head travels down the medial aspect of the arm before it turns tendinous in and around here. So I'm gonna get him to actually go through and hold that position for me. Uh, so right there, good. So you can actually quite easily see that transition from muscle belly here into tendon. So the belly is up in the medial aspect of that arm and then it's tendinous before it goes down, inserting into our olecranon of the ulna. So first head that we're gonna talk about. Head number two is gonna be the lateral head. And the lateral head has an origin that's just above a different landmark. So I'm just going to discuss that first. On the posterior aspect of the humerus, there is a groove that runs kind of superior medial to inferior lateral. And that is for the radial nerve. So it's called the radial groove of the humerus. So above that is where the lateral head originates. The other thing that you can do to try to landmark it is try to find the edge of our posterior deltoid. So if he holds his arm up in the air for us, like so, there we go. I can find that posterior deltoid here. I'm gonna lay my finger across that. I'm gonna bring his arm back down. And I'm gonna ask for him to extend his arm out. Perfect. So right in this region is our lateral head of the triceps. And it actually wraps around meeting up with brachialis in the front here. So the lateral head runs down the lateral aspect of the arm before it turns tendinous, kind of meeting up with that long head over here and going down to our olecranon. And then our last head of triceps is gonna be the medial head. So if this was the spiral groove, otherwise known as the radial groove of the humerus, then everything kind of distal to that on that posterior surface, getting closer to our olecranon fossa, would be the origin of the medial head. So it is the largest surface area of the three head origins. A big portion of the medial head is actually covered by the long head. So in this case, I'm going to try to grab his long head and kind of pull it over. And then I'm going to ask him to extend his elbow out. Good. And you can actually easily see right in here. So below the long head, the medial head is definitely sticking out on the side. I'm gonna relax. But it also is on the lateral aspect below the lateral head. So I'm gonna sink in underneath the lateral head over here. And again, without resistance, I'm just gonna ask him to extend and lock his elbow for me. So my fingers are getting pushed out on both sides. So you can also squeeze kind of that distal tendon portion and again, relax, and you'll see the width change. Go ahead one more time. So this is the medial head that's kind of pushing my fingers out on both sides. So underneath the long and a little bit of the lateral, the medial head blends with the other two, and all three of them are incident here on the olecranon process of the ulna. All three heads of the triceps are innervated by kind of the radial nerve. So which travels underneath it, so it's innervating all three components. The medial and lateral head, medial and lateral head, and as well as the long head all do extension at the elbow, like so, but only the long head 
acts on the chronic humeral joint and it does extension or horizontal extension depending on how you kind of look at that. So after we're done palpating here we're going to go on to our manual muscle test and then our lengthening for it.